Hi everybody, it's Ginger with Marvelous Mouse Travels, and today we're going to take you on a video tour of Universal City Walk. <laughs> Conveniently located between the entrances to Universal Studios Orlando and Universal's Islands of Adventure, City Walk is a great destination for dining, shopping, and entertainment. So come with me as we check it out. We'll begin our tour by looking at an aerial view of City Walk. Here you see parking, as well as the guest drop-off area, which is where all of the resort buses will unload. During this particular trip to City Walk, I was staying at the Universal Aventura Hotel with my family. And if you'd like to see our tour of that hotel, we'll link that in the description down below, as well as in the upper right-hand corner. We'll begin by walking across this bridge into the official entrance to City Walk and then we'll turn right to head towards the entrance to Universal Studios. Here you see the iconic Universal Globe. We'll then walk in this direction past the Hard Rock Cafe and the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium and past the entrance to Islands of Adventure. We'll walk across this bridge back into the heart of City Walk and then we'll head up to tour the second story. We'll do a 360 spin here before walking in this direction to look at some of the places you can check out on the second level of City Walk. And then we'll walk back across this bridge to get on our bus back to the Aventura. There are several motorized walkways on City Walk's entrance bridge, but if you have a stroller like we did, then you're going to have to take the regular sidewalk. Off in the distance, we see the Hard Rock Hotel, one of three on-property hotels offering complimentary unlimited express pass. We can also see Hollywood Drive-In Golf. And as we enter City Walk, we can see the Cinemark Theater on our right. Bubba Gump Shrimp is here on our left. As you walk under the Universal Orlando sign, you'll see concierge immediately to your left and a variety of shopping and dining options all around you. Ford Stone Creamery. There's the Cinnabon. You want to eat there for breakfast? Yes. Yes, I do. And we did. And it was amazing. After enjoying those awesome cinnamon rolls, we decided to continue making our way around City Walk, turning right and walking towards the entrance to Universal Studios Orlando. Along the path towards the theme park, you'll see little kiosks selling different items as well as a variety of stores to check out. Up on our right is Voodoo Donuts, an iconic place to stop for a sweet treat. And this is one of the many ways to get to the second level of Universal City Walk. In addition to sites like the NBC Grill, you also have beautiful views of this waterway, 
that's used by the water taxis to get guests back and forth between the theme parks and many on-site hotels. Here we have the entrance to Universal Studios Orlando, with the iconic Universal Globe right out in front. Across the waterway we can see the entrance to Islands of Adventure, as well as the Aventura Hotel where I was staying with my family at the time. We're going to continue down past the Hard Rock Cafe to check out Islands of Adventure a little bit more closely in just a minute. For now, let's look more at Universal Studios. Guests who wish to do so can purchase theme park tickets right at the entrance of Universal Studios. Or you can purchase your tickets in advance through a Marvelous Mouse Travels agent and take advantage of perks such as early entry, giving you one extra hour in Volcano Bay as well as the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We're now going to continue walking past Universal Studios Orlando on our way to the entrance to Islands of Adventure. The roller coaster you see here is the Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Here they come. In the background of the coaster, you can see one of the cars being pulled up, getting ready for the big drop. Standing in front of the Hard Rock Cafe and looking back towards the entrance to Universal Studios, we can see the Hard Rock Hotel. Just past the Hard Rock Cafe is the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. And here we are at the entrance to Universal's Islands of Adventure. Many of the guests that you see waiting in line here are waiting to purchase their theme park tickets. And you can go that route as well. But why would you, when purchasing in advance through a Marvelous Mouse Travels agent lets you take advantage of perks like early entry and also benefit from the free vacation planning services of someone trained in Universal Vacations? We're now making our way back towards the entrance of City Walk. We can see Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville up on our right. If you're on the hunt for special souvenirs to remember your trip, look no further than the Universal Studios store. Here's another entrance to the second story of City Walk. Right next to the Red Oven Pizza Bakery, you'll see guest services as well as the Cold Stone Creamery. Near guest services, you'll find the escalators that take you up to the second level of City Walk. And if you have a stroller like we did, you'll find the elevators located under this awning. Here we are up on the second level looking down towards Voodoo Donuts and Universal Studios. As you can see, there are a lot of quick service dining options located in this area. This is the view from the second level back towards the entrance of Islands of Adventure. And here we are looking back towards the entrance to City Walk. A lot of the nightlife is also located on the second level of City Walk.
back on the entrance level, it's now time to begin our journey back to the guest drop-off area where we'll meet the bus that will take us back to the Aventura. There are also buses that run directly from City Walk to Volcano Bay, Universal's water park. The buses from the parks to the resorts run approximately every 15 to 20 minutes. And again, if you'd like to see our video tour of Universal's Aventura Hotel, we'll link that in the description down below. I hope you've enjoyed our tour of Universal City Walk. Although general admission to City Walk is free, certain venues inside it do require a separate admission or a cover charge. If I can help you in any way plan your next Universal Orlando vacation, my contact information can be found in the description below. Again, I'm Ginger with Marvelous Mouse Travels. Thank you for watching.